Hey, what's up guys? It's Chris here with Prestige Auto, and today we're going to be doing a review on this rattle can paint from O'Reilly's. Um, you can pick this up at your local O'Reilly, and this was about, I think it was $25 or $30 a can. And uh, what you want to do is you want to get your paint code from inside your door. Some vehicles have them inside the glove box, but you'll get your paint code, give them a call, tell them the paint code, and they'll have it ready for you in about 30 minutes. So uh, let me show you where you can find that paint code. Okay, now on most vehicles, you can just open your door and inside your door jam here, on this little tag, it will have your paint code. Now for this one, right here at the CTR, those first three digits are your paint code. Okay, and here's another example on another vehicle. On this VIN sticker, it says right there, like exterior paint, and um, your code will be PY. So you just call up O'Reilly, give them the code, and they'll get it fixed up for you. Now, if you're having trouble finding your paint code, just give a quick YouTube search, and I'm sure you'll find a video, and they'll show you how to find the code for your vehicle. Okay, so here's the product we're going to be using today. It's called U-Pole, u -Pole, something like that, u -Pole. Anyways, this is what O'Reilly uses, and whenever you give them that code, like my code was 8P8, and it came up to this blue here. And it has the clear coat and everything mixed in with it, so all you've got to do is just prep the spot that you're going to paint, tape off the rest of the vehicle, and paint it on. And it, it usually matches pretty close. I've used this several times. It does pretty good. It's good for bumpers and uh, little panels like that. All right, so the vehicle we're going to be working on today is a Scion. And you can see right here that the bumper is, um, I'm not sure what the heck happened, but all the paint is just came right off of it. You can see the old spot a little bit left on, and it's just flaking right off. I'm not sure what causes that but every bit of it has come off almost except for a couple little spots. So we're gonna use that rattle can to do this bumper here. We're gonna tape off and protect the rest of the car. Now I know a lot of people are gonna complain and say I should have done this and I should have done that, but this video is basically made for the person that uh, don't have a lot of fancy tools and uh, um, basically we're just gonna tape this thing off, clean it up and spray it right on there like it is in our driveway with a rattle can. So. It's going to turn out looking way better than it is now. We're not, this is an old vehicle with bird shit on the side. And uh, so we're not going for a showroom finish. We're just trying to make this thing look better. Trying to make it look a little bit better from far away. Or when you're doing 40 miles an hour down the road and this is all you're going to see. Looks pretty good for that. So the first thing that we're going to do is um, we're going to go ahead and uh, flake off the rest of this crap. That's flaking off like that in the spots. And then... Um, we're probably going to go ahead and tape up everything that we don't want overspray on and just leave this bumper right here exposed. We are going to tape off this bottom part here because it's already painted and that little spot there, we'll tape that off too. And then um, we got to get some of this residue off. Someone had a piece sticker on there. We'll get that off. We're going to wipe it all down with some wax and grease remover. And then uh, we're just going to go straight on with that rattle can, baby. We're going to get it down, get it done, and see how it turns out. So let's get started taping this thing up. All right, we got that son of a gun all plasticed up, taped up, about ready to scrape that extra paint off that's flaking right around here. We'll gonna scrape all that off and then uh, we're gonna hit it some wax and grease remover and go ahead and start putting the paint down. So let's get to it. All right. We've got her scraped down. I've hit it with some wax and grease remover, and now she is ready for some paint. So let's go ahead and shake this can up and go ahead and put a first coat on it. Now the first coat, I'm gonna do a light one just to get it to you know, stick everywhere, a good base coat on it, and then the second and third coat will do it a bit heavier. So let's go ahead and spray it with one light coat.
All right, we've hit it with that first coat. You can see it's a little blotchy there. We just dusted it on for the first time. So we'll give, give that a few minutes to dry, maybe about five minutes. And then we'll go a little bit heavier with the second coat. Well, all right guys she's looking pretty good we got four good coats on there and uh, you just want to do like my first coat was real light second coat was a bit lighter and as you go on do a bit heavier and heavier that'll prevent you from getting any runs but she turned out pretty good pretty glossy I mean it's not showroom finish but it looks a heck of a lot better than it did before so if that's all you're going for and you got a, a an ugly bumper or maybe you got hit on your fender and uh, you pick up a fender from the scrap yard and it's not the same color, hit up O'Reilly, get a can of that paint. It'll make it look a lot better. So our next step's gonna be to go ahead and get this thing untaped, get all this plastic off of it. Uh, we wanna be careful, make sure we don't flake nothing down on top of that and uh, just make sure nothing lands on it because it'll put some ugly marks. So let's tear this, tear this plastic off and see how it looks overall. guys we got the plastic off and the tape off and she is looking good looking real good the rest of the car is dirty as heck so it's hard to tell but it blended in pretty well it's even got the flake in it to match like the factory not too bad well all right guys that about wraps it up on this uh rattle can from o'reilly's uh, my review on it is it's pretty good you can see it has a nice gloss um the color matched pretty well um, again, you're not going to get a showroom finish with this stuff right here, but it's going to make it look a lot better. We got this bumper looking like that and so much better for $25. So there's no sense in riding around with an ugly bumper when you can fix it for $25. So, so head yourself over to O'Reilly and pick up a canvas paint and fix your car up today. Well, that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you're riding around with an ugly bumper or an ugly fender and you can't decide on if you want to take it to a shop and get an expensive paint job on it, just head over to O'Reilly's and get yourself a little rattle can and fix that thing up. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button.